Support for Talking Town is brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision-engineered tools for your family jewels. Hold up, fellas. I don't think we've quite understood what I'm talking about here. We've gone years in the UK without using the right tools for the job. Long gone are the days of a razor blade in the mirror. No more shall we look like Sideshow Bob down there. Manscaped have redesigned the electric trimmer. Their engineering team have perfected the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and have just released the new and approved Lawn Mower 3.0 in the UK. Their third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents because nobody wants a bloodbath in the bathroom. Did I tell you it's got waterproof technology so you can dim those lights, get yourself in the shower and groom to your heart's content. Whatever you do, however you do it, do it with Manscaped's Lawnmower 3.0. And don't forget, you can get 20% off and free delivery with the code TT. Manscaped.com. Make your testies their besties. There we go. Can you hear me now? There we go. We are live. Checkbook FC. If you're watching, buy me a new microphone, please. That happens all too often. It truly does. But we are back here with two transfer specials and a uh, match day ticket all rolled into one. Too much content for uh, one YouTube channel to contend with. You can all hear me now. Absolutely fan dabby dozy. As always, the button for mute had been pressed. I do apologize. Right, let's get a few comments because I'm excited. Checkbook FC, checkbook FC, checkbook FC. La 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 la. Colson's not planned to not for Borough, apparently, says Jason Clayton. Happy days. He'll be number three, uh, possibly tomorrow. Uh, Crunch is telling the world why we were late. Cheers, Crunch. Appreciate it, my friend. Curtis Yates, we may not get Curtis from Pompey, but I can give you myself from Blackpool. Want to play a decent ball for centre back in Sunday League? A couple of years ago. We'll tell Danny Cowley, uh, Kurt, because I hear Cruncher. He's been crying again. Hey, look, I've got the hound. Do you want me to recreate? Oh, yes, please. Now, if anyone wasn't watching, you know, when we started last year, we, it was about probably our second or third show, when it? When we'd done the Cole U friendly, Martin, and I wore this hat at full time with mm -hmm. one 4-0, and I said the phrase, 100 points, 100 goals incoming. This look, season, uh, it might just come true. Look at this man, ladies and gentlemen. There you yeah. go. We've recreated it. Crunch, George Edmondson. Let's start with him because he's the guy that the show is about. Um, what do you know about him? What don't you know about the fridge. him? Fridge. They call him the fridge at Rangers. Um, yes, you've said that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Well, why? Do we know why? Know. He's a big unit, isn't he? Have you seen the size of his arms? I haven't seen I've only seen a, yeah. a headshot, to be honest with you. Six three. Uh, good age, isn't he? 23. Centre half. Six he didn't play three. a lot of Rangers, did he? he? Played a derby on loan last year. But I was reading, he um, he played in the Europa League. Uh, yes, he did. Away he at did. Braga, and he got real, real high praise for that game. So, look, he's, he's, he's at that age, Martin, where he needs to be playing first-team football. He's obviously signed a four-year contract. You think, 23. If all goes well... He could be here for the next five, six, seven years. You know, yes. it's, it's 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 a positive signing. Like we say, where were we shopping last year? We were in the fucking reduced bin at Poundland, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see any Pompey fans crying, or you know, or saying anything last year when Ollie Hawkins, their fourth striker, who was about as much mobile as a baby giraffe, was on his way down the A14. Did I read some? There was some. There's an account on Twitter. Portsmouth fan says we should be deducted points. Get in yeah, the bin. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way. 
Salt. salt. Oh, salt. salt. That's salt Salty. I can taste. Get back in your uh, Pompey man cave, sir. Um, good player by all accounts. That's probably why everyone's a little bit upset because he is a good player. It's not your, your standard. It's a significant fee, we're led to believe. Yeah, I reckon, what, 750 probably? 750 is the figure I've heard. was a million yeah. at some point. And I, all we know is, I think we know, is uh, Peterborough had a bid. Was it turned down for 750? Yeah, turned down. But so, you guys know, speaking to Colin earlier, Martin, and you think these signings we've made, you'd be happy with some of these if you were in the championship. Hmm. We're in League One. But I said to him, we still need, look, it's exciting times. We signed 10 players. There's going to be more to come. We've still got to get the job done on the pitch. Nothing is a gimme in this league. And I see Sheffield Wednesday today. They've made two really good signings. They signed um, Peacock Farrell on loan from Leeds for a season, the goalkeeper. And then they signed Lewis Wing tonight from Middlesbrough. So, look, they're decent signings. They'll be up there. So, anyone who thinks out there that we're just going to... Look, we, we are getting a bit carried away. That We're going to roll the league. We're going to get 100 not. points. Of course not. No, it's July. Drink the Kool-Aid. Drink it up. Because when you do go away from home and get beat 1-0, and it or isn't going as well. drink your Bundeslager from away Absolutely. days. Absolutely. Uh, Curtis Yates, long gone are the days of Ballant Barniers and Patrick is Norbos and the Nathan Ellingsons of the world. Uh, Hawk says 900, 250 more if promoted. There we go. Hawk's delivering the ITK. In the note. In the ITK. The oh, ITK, yeah, absolutely. I've changed his name on here now from uh, the legend of Lowest off to the ITK man. Uh, <laughs> not the Y2K man, the ITK man. <laughs> but uh, he's, he could be right. Um, Hedger, they forget the red nap days. Pompey, who that is. Uh, well, Facebook, yeah, I the think. They got him when they were spending mine. You know, they oh, should have. Yeah. If they were any normal business, they would have gone to the wall. So. I saw uh, the Pompey, a Pompey, a Pompey fan on Twitter before we came live was saying how, because Jacobs is in their lineup tonight against Chelsea, and he said, oh, I see Jacobs is the, only, is the only player that doesn't want to go and join Oil Money FC. And I thought, hang on, he's been begging for the last couple of days in the press, hasn't he? Yeah, I've he not talking, heard anything. Talking so don't, morning. don't call us, we'll call you, and we ain't calling you by the look of it. Well, Cook, he's been ringing him, hasn't he? Not on, I see him again. <laughs> no, Got the wrong number. Um, yeah. Um, Facebook user, I think we should just love it and dream. I agree. Been a long time since we see us flex our mus muscles in the transfer market. Right. It, it, right. it has been. I'm just trying to look at George Edmonds' uh, stats here, and because um, he's, you know, as you say, he's been a, he's been around. Played ten ga games with Derby last year. Got a goal, so <laughs> it's better than Ollie Hawkins' his return rate already. Uh, he's a centre half. Like that. he made the League Two team of the year in his last season at Oldham. Yes, that's sure. the last time he played a considerable amount of games. Yeah. Which was in League Two, 18 19 season, 45 games. After that, he's played two Europa League qualifying, uh, qualifying game, then one League Cup, seven Premier League appearances, eight in total over the last couple of years. Scored, so, against Hibs. Scored a goal yeah. against Hibs. He, he, yeah, so the majority of his games were Oldham, 79 appearances, three goals, five assists. Rangers, 17 2 and one. So this is his chance for really, to sort of resurrect his career, if you like. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's going to come in. He's obviously, I, I would have thought he'd be first choice. I still think they'll sign another centre back nine. Someone well, experienced. I, I don't know I if they that, will. I don't if know. They do, oh. I don't know if they'll class him as, as first choice, though. If they do sign a more experienced player, I don't. I, I, you know. I think uh, you need, you need, you, look, we've, over the years, we've had so many injuries, haven't we? I don't know, like Lee Anderson last night, he was. It, it, we need to temper it a little bit because hopefully now that injury curse is sort of behind us. We've got the right people like, you know, sports science. I see they added another guy. I can't remember yeah, his name. Ivan McCandy. Yeah, he's he's um strength and conditioning coach came in. So, um, I, look, there you go, Curtis. Does this spell the end for Toto or Wolf? And like you've said, Martin, Toto's been there, what? Is this his fourth season? Yeah. Hasn't improved whatsoever. I don't think he has. And no, I've been, I've been they laid out for him. You would expect him to look. I, he can do a decent job. I think he could be a good squad player at this level. I don't yeah. see him being playing week in, week out. Wolfenden, yeah, I could see him playing because he's the one that should progress. But I still think you need someone in there like Sonny Bradley. Look, how old was he, Martin? Twenty nine. 
Yes, he was. Yeah. So were they looking for that experienced player? Or was... They're looking for good players, aren't they? Yeah, and, yeah, and obviously. yeah, obviously. And that's but, what we're but, well, but that sounds so, so basic, but you, we didn't look at good players previous terms because we knew we couldn't afford them. Whereas this term, the owners are looking and it doesn't really matter about the, the initial outlay because it's always about future outlay. And, you know, what can this guy bring in return? And and we didn't do that. Let's be honest. Drinan and Hawkins were never going to get you anywhere near where you wanted to go. So it doesn't matter if they cost nothing. They were always, in my opinion, going to bring nothing. And okay, they might, we've got a nominal fee. All right, 10 grand. But they weren't going to get you the millions of the championship or the millions of the Premier League, not in a million hundred years. And um, whereas Bradley, if he had stepped down, championship player. This guy arriving today, George Edmondson, could be a championship player already in the waiting. The dog is licking the bottom of the TV stand. Dog, are you all right? There's nothing there, son. Don't be moving the webcam about. <laughs> Unbelievable. You don't get this on professional pods. Lucky we're not one. Uh, favorite user. I do think we're so, we should sign an experienced and a half and an experienced and midfield player. Is this talking checkbook FC? It certainly is. It certainly is the way they beers. I've got a what lovely, lovely beer coming out of the fridge for the uh, cold U game. Looking forward to that. I think uh, Josh is working on a new beer, isn't he? Yeah, I, well, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, I do hope so. Right. Second signing. Talk to us about this one then. Oh. Well, he's look. I was look. We all wanted Selena, didn't we? Obviously linked with him for the last what six, eight weeks. I think that one's that one's gone, mine. I've got um, so his stats are Chaplin. Um, so two hundred and forty. This is career stats: two hundred and forty appearances, fifty goals, eighteen assists. So he's. I think he'll play off the left. I think he's he's going to play off the left in that front three. I see what Cook said, and I, I read this um, a couple of places saying he's a real nice lad and he'll fit in within like five minutes of being there. And I think he's really good. It was interesting. Um, I was reading Edmondson, going back to him about working. He wants to get involved in the community work as well, which I really like to um, to hear that. But Chaplin, he's a championship player for me. He's I've got a, my boss is a Coventry fan. He was there on loan. Someone, I've, I've got a Barnsley fan yesterday, text me. He can't believe that they're getting rid of him. He, he signed the four-year contract back in 2019. I know they've got a new manager coming now. So that's probably why he's moved him on. Because I think they signed someone today, I see. But um, Cookie had him, didn't he? He had him at Portsmouth um, when he was in League Two. So, um, <laughs> yeah. When you need help from a higher power coach, your chaplain. Um, Facebook user likes clips on him. Likes playing the left, but finds himself central a lot. Yep, I watched the clip this morning. He, he lobbed Bart and I put the phone down. I said, there's enough internet for me today. Yes, yeah, a good montage there, isn't there, on, on YouTube, if you go and put his name in. Um, yes. I think he's a very good signing at this level of mine. I really do. Yeah, look at, as you say, look at his stats. 15 goals in 78 championship games, uh, uh, 17 in League 2, and then 13 and 57 in League 1. So he's got goals in him. And again, it's about adding to the pot. If you know, if you can get Bon on 10, this guy on Chaplin on 10, you can get Norwood on, on, on 10, that's 30 goals already towards what we're all saying, 100, 100 goals. But that's 30 goals. You've then got Piggott. If he can get 10, 40 goals, you've got Fraser. But you sub, you, you're adding these players that, you, 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 in the past, you would say, oh, well, Skews get t well, Skews can get one, so it's a bad example. But, um, you know, you look at your midfield players from last year, Teddy Bishop, if he can get 10, you get laughed off a show. He couldn't get three, four, five, let alone double figures. He couldn't say the team, um, Sort of going back probably to when um, Joe Royal was here, Martin, mm -hmm. you had... Kuki, you had Bent, you had you had Canago in there, Tommy Miller, obviously from midfield, and you, you're going to need goals. Right? So hopefully, Edmondson, he can get a few in. I hope this season our, our dead ball delivery is going to be a lot better because last season it was shit when we we didn't hardly threaten from corners, free kicks, and he can head a ball. He's a six foot three lad, the centre half. So if you can get some decent balls in, hopefully we can get some goals from there. But yeah, Chaplin. He's done it again. He pulled the lead out. Can't hear you. Oh, look. Not a, he's not a pro, this guy. He, no. Still. He's gone. I don't know what he's doing, guys. Is he back? No. He's gone. I'll have to do it on my own. No, you so, won't. No, he's back. I am. Hey. Back. 
I, I, I'm going to go Where's mental in this house. Like? I've got no idea. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. If I'm not getting attacked by the dog, I'm getting attacked by something else in this house. It's um ridiculous. Anyway, as I was saying, we're adding goals. I think it was to 750 our team. for him, was it? 750 for Chaplin? Something around that? I've got no idea. I've got no idea. Honestly, I mean, I, it, you, and we knew he was on the way and we knew he'd be signing either today or early tomorrow, but, you know, it caught me on the hop a little bit. I thought, with the game tonight, are they going to delay it and go tomorrow? Um, but they went. They've been doing some great work. Ipswich Town, the, the, their account, their Twitter account is on. And look, even they must be excited, you know, because look, when, when you're signing Ollie Hawkins and Stephen Ward and Di Cornell, you're hardly going to be um, putting the flags out for them coming in, are you really? Well, this is it. This is it. A few comments we've got. Uh, Mike D means Fraser can do damage in the middle. Looking forward to seeing Fraser in the number 10. Me too. I have to be honest. So I might leave. He's right. on the left, though, isn't he? If by the looks of that lineup. I don't want to go there just yet. But Lee Anderson, they weren't all school like that. It never happens. Well, but it does happen for, for teams that have ambitions of going anywhere anywhere. That it does happen. Look at us in our playoff year. But a number of players, I mean the back run themselves, Chambers, Smith, and Berra got towards the 10 mark. Yeah, they will. Knocking four or five in each, weren't they? Yeah, so it does happen. It does. It hasn't happened for a long time at town because we've not had the players for it to happen at town in such a long, long time. Okay, seven ex Ipswich players in the starting lineup. It's like playing football manager and ranging into squad when you join a club. Interview now with Freddie on Cole UTV. Bin that off, Joe. Get yourselves with talking the sound. Uh, look, we're Bill being positive on the platform. It's only right to be positive, uh, but. We all know someone who certainly never bloody is. Let's see he is here. Let's see if he can be tonight. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. You look like you got just with no lights on. A Superman that's been like a cyclone. Fit checks been like a cyclone. Wake up to the money, turn me right on. Yeah, but we're crap. We're not going to dominate any team. Apart from the culture tonight. <laughs> I said to you last night we have to re- we have to we have to record a new one where he's saying we're bloody brilliant. Of course we're going to dominate them because that's going to change this year. Neil, two more signings in the door. What are you going to tell us about these two? What, what are your thoughts? Uh, it's fantastic, isn't it? Um, to be honest, I don't really know too much about them. Just uh, what I've heard, and it's it's very positive. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's that's all I have to go on and. Uh, Let's see how they perform. Honest and, uh, guy, I'm, I'm excited to uh, to see it. Honest guy, they see crunch. Many people will try and pretend and bluff it and say, "Yeah, great player, good left foot, this, that, and the other." But not Neil. Honest to the days long. What about Matt Phillips? Oh, did I say any names? <laughs> <laughs> did sold I him. Say? Sold him. You just sold me off. Uh, <laughs> off <laughs> pass. Sorry, I, 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 I will be honest. I, I know, like, I've chatted and I've seen him for the last few years, so I know what he's about. Edmondson. I don't. I'll be honest. Just that his no. name. They name him the Fridge, Neil. That's his nickname. I saw online earlier. Everyone kept mentioning Fridge, and I was like, "What's this Fridge all about?" But you've explained it. <laughs> Made me hungry. Okay, so let's look at the, the stars. Cole, you have the bench. They have the trialist triplets. They do C, D, and F. I think it is. Um, I one thing I do know about him, and speaking to a Rangers fan, I think he tended to agree. Obviously, that they've lacked in the past maybe a little bit of maturity. From Edmondson. Um, well, yeah, he obviously you know, got done for COVID, didn't he? He was um he was out with I can't remember the, the guy they were at a party. He got a seven seven game ban, didn't he? He did. But twenty three oh, went into yeah. party. You, you can understand it, but yeah, that there obviously is a maturity issue, and you hope that as he gets older, moves down south, etc., that naturally comes. And the Rangers fan I was talking to you, did seem to think that would, and his playing ability. Second to none, you know, he, he should have been in around the first team. So it's a little bit quieter down in Ipswich than Glasgow, isn't it? Well, it is just since they shut fire and ice. It really truly is. You know, that where do you go on a night while out? Ago. I know exactly. Where do you go on a night out now? What well, you know, liquid well, not even liquid anymore, is it? It's um is it still unit twenty two or whatever it was to be called? Um either way, it's not great for a night out. Curtis Jates, how is has MSU's been fixed up yet? Did he forget to get the 12-man coach from Port Road to Job Serve Stadium after his contract ended? I don't know where he is. No, me neither. Um, we might well get beaten tonight, says Mark. They were well up for it. Only a friendly, but these ex-players want to prove to the new lads they're not too bad. Hollywood's gov. 
bloody hell, Josh. Now we are going back, son. Going um, back in the day. That's going way, way back. Now, you know, it's changed. Part two. Part two. That's um, another one. It certainly was. Big TT meetup says Emerson Vedder at the first game. Absolutely. Fan zone. Beers on Cruncher. That's what I've heard. That's the rumour circulating among the TT Towers. Get him in, son. Is it? I yeah. Pound for double. Phillips, Phillips won't get served at the bar. I think he's 12. No, not that. <laughs> <laughs> he really will. Love um, you, man. Talking of the game tonight, five minutes to kick off. Uh, the... Team is out. Raheem Harper is playing, so I'm very happy. However, they've they've decided in light of this, Colts United to not play Cole Skews. I can He's see what they're doing. Yeah, but they're going to wait yeah. for Harper to run the game, then go off, and then they'll bring Cole Skews on. You, that's a big call you've gone for, Player of the Year in July. After Mate. after five minutes of a friendly meal, we say that he's going to be yeah. Player of the Year. What? I can't stop raving about him. Honestly, I think Neil's the only reason Neil's watching the game tonight is because I've been raving about Raheem Harper. Uh, honestly, he's a good player. But the team tonight, for those that are interested, is Holy, Danassian, Wolfenden. Danassian is captain, by the way, for those that are keeping stock of who is captain under uh, Paul, Ru- Paul, Paul Cook's roulette will of captaincy. Wolfenden, Endarba, Penny, Harper, Humphreys, Dobra, Fraser, Pigger, and Bon. So it could be Fraser behind with Dobber out on the left and maybe Bon out on the right. I mean, that's quite an interesting way to look at it. How do you yeah. see him lining up, Cap- Captain Crunch? I'm trying to work out who's... Um, I, I, Dobber would be off the left, wouldn't he, I'd have thought. Where did Humphreys play Saturday? Did he play in the middle? He did with Rakeem. Which is he why it made Rakeem's imp- the performance even more impressive for me. He could go Harper, Humphreys in front of the back four and then Dobber, Fraser, Bon, maybe, and then pick it up front. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, could be. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight then, Neil? That's the team there. Who are you looking forward most to seeing? Oh, Danassian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, he's killed it in first five. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Well, especially as captain, can he, you know, can he step himself up? Jay Chedwick, do you think we'll keep Danassian now? I think we will. Yeah, I think he's solid backup. Back isn't up, he? or, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He is what it is, a backup player. Will come in, not do anything wrong, but I think when it, it's when he has to play a number of games, the consistency level just isn't there, is it? For, and I think that's actually Toto as well, Neil. He can play decent, maybe three, four, five, maybe three or four games, but he can't do it over the course of 10, 15, 20 games. He lacks that consistency. Is that fair to say? Neil's frozen on us. Crunch, is that fair to say? Uh, yeah, look, I, I, it's going to be a squad game, isn't it, this season? If Because, look, we're hoping yeah. Vincent Young plays 46 games and Danassian's yes. not needed. But with his injury record over the past two seasons, that's going to be unlikely. But, yeah, I do agree. Three or four games here and there for Danassian, NCR. If they play, like, 10 games each through the season, you know, I think that, that they, they could help out. But you wouldn't want them playing on them weekly basis would you really no you wouldn't the culture united team is Dean Gherkin Ryan Clamping who's a good player on FM I'll let you know Luke Chambers Tommy Smith um Brendan Wyodu I'm not I'm not great with pronunciations I do apologize Brendan probably not a great uh, pronunciation there. Frank yeah the dogs didn't agree Frank Newball Alan Judge Freddie was it Newble Alan Judge Freddie Sears Noah Chilvers Tom Eastman and Cameron Cox so that back line, you know, Smith and Chambers, one and two. Gherkin just behind. I think Chambers will play right back, won't he? Because I think Eastman will play in there with Smith. Well, they've, been play, they've been playing a back three. Ah. So they've been playing Chambers right side of the back three with Smith and then Eastman, who isn't right for, who isn't left footed, but been playing there anyway. And then they've been playing with... him at Ipswich. Did you? The academy. Yeah. I liked him, you know. Yeah, but he, he was another one who Roy Keane bought in and played him at right back, didn't he? Yes, and they're playing left He's side. He's had a very good career there, Martin. He's played over 400 games for Colu. He has. So, look, fair play to him. I hope Chambers has a nightmare tonight and gets destroyed by Bon and Piggott. Come oh. on, boys. Be respectful. No? I am. I've got a blue shirt on tonight. <laughs> they're not playing yep. for a Stonewall. I look forward well, to seeing you. I think they get a good reception. I'll, I'll, I'll hide my shirt then. <laughs> what do you think, Neil? That's the uh, Colu lineup. It's nothing to, you know, be worried about, is it? No. Just how much they're going to try and shut up shop, really. 
They've just uh, walked Edmondson and Chaplin. I'm just sitting on the Itch Town Twitter account here around uh, the pitch. Tell you what, I will share the screen and we will we all be able to see this magical moment. Where's this? Uh, Where's it on? Hang on, you'll see it. It's been on, your, been right on the screen right here in a minute. Give me one moment, and I mean one momento. Uh, do you see it? On the screen now, do you see it? Oh, yeah. What's that off of? The Ipswich Town? Yeah, there they are. Look, there's uh, Edmondson on the left and Chaplin on the right. Well, I hope that's the way around, because you said the center half was tall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there they are, look. They've all paid 18 quid. Look at that, right? sold their own way in. How good does that look? You have an 18-pound crunch. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. 18 quid. Do you know what? I ain't seen a kick a ball yet, but um, Chaplin, I really like the look of him. He looks the sort of player that, as away fans, you really fucking hate. Because I reckon he's in a nip at the defender's ankles, work hard, fight for every ball. Bit of a Joe Garner type, do you know what I mean? Just going to give you his all. The way he's just sat there, did that fist pump there. Like, he's, not, he's not even a player. We'll see him like, we'll Sally when you go to the Millwall game. Certainly. They're, will, both, yeah. they're both starting on the fourth, wouldn't they, really? Don't yeah. fancy it then, Crunch? No. Saving it for Morecambe. I see um, the tickets are on sale on, I think, is it tomorrow? General sale? No tickets on the day for Morecambe. It's going to be all ticket. Yes. I think that's, right. that's going to be the way it's going to go, I think, isn't it, with COVID at the minute? Though, you'd have to get your tickets before the day. Absolutely. What do you reckon? 17,000, Morecambe? What, for Morecambe? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you're, you're not great with numbers. So I, I don't know if you're the best person. Oh, we've got 16,000 season to get hold of. Exactly. Yeah. We've told <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Right, we're back at a full time where there'll be a link for you to get involved, have your sign, the players, new signings, all of that jazz. We're done. Predictions. We're What's your oh, predictions, Mark? All right, prediction for, for a friendly. 4 0, says Curtis Yates. I was about to say 4 0. 4 0, says Neil Smith, the positivity. Cruncher? 2 0. 2 0. Happy days. Right, we're back at full time. Join us then, and don't forget uh, to go and recharge your glasses and have a wonderful glass of awaydaysbeer.com. Proud to partner with Talking Town. For only $14.99, grab your ITFC Legends pack from the beat to Hoppy Robson to Brazil's best and Pablo's pal. Whatever you need, whatever you want. ITFC Legends pack, $14.99 at awaydaysbeer.com. Grab it today.